please let me out? Sorry, I have a boyfriend. I'm trapped in your attic. Listen, I'm not interested, okay? You ever bite into a piece of cheese on bread and immediately find yourself as a true and honest shepherd boy in the 1300s who sometimes steals apples but is overall hale and true-hearted? Weird. I've been into bread and cheese and find myself a mischievous knave from the 1500s, as ready to drink an ale in good company as to cut the purse of a lord, but as an overall wastrel. Kermit the Frog and Alexander the Great, I think? What would they even say to each other? Hey, I just realized. We got the same middle name. Our eggs are fresher than your neighbor's kids. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of more concerned about our eggs are fresher than your neighbor's kids. What's that even mean? Cry. I can't. Try harder. You want me to turn it off and on again? Yeah, see if that works. I checked the process and it takes about seven hours of restarting. I'd much rather not update because crying isn't in this version's coding. It's a mandatory update. Aww. I went through an entire character arc during quarantine. I became more evil if you're curious. If you have skin, you aren't welcome here. Skeletons only. Is that so? Consider Victorian England, 1837 to 1901. American Old West, 1803 to 1912. The Meiji Restoration, 1868 to 1912. French privateering in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's circa 1830. Conclusion! An adventuring party consisting of a Victorian gentleman thief, an Old West gunslinger, a disgraced former samurai, and an elderly French pirate is actually 100% historically plausible. Where is my movie? Everyone shut the fuck up! Wurple Sippy Soup! At last, the painting is complete! Colon three. Hey, the Victorians get to sleep without ASMR videos, am I right, fellas? Okay, I know they had cocaine, you could stop telling me. I don't think you guys know what coke does. Y'all like, I wanna die. Like a broken record. But a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shit in your pants. Mmm. Hypocrites, y'all. Yeah. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Well, yeah, that's how being stabbed to death works. Don't make fun of me, dude. What if a girl sees this? The Jewish, Japanese sex, and cookbook, and how to raise wolves by Jack Douglas. It's a lot covered in one book. Where have you been, Jack Douglas? What kind of things have you seen? Twinkle, twinkle, fucking why can't I draw the other eye? What the fuck's up with your nose? Fuck those folds and all your clothes. Twinkle, twinkle, fucking shit. Fuck this art, I'm done, I quit. Reminder to straighten your back. Go pee, goddammit, stop holding it. Go take your meds if you need to. Drink some water. Go get a snack if you haven't eaten in a while. Maybe wander around the house and stretch a little if you've been at a computer for a while. In orders especially, stretch those wrists. Reply to that text message from earlier you've forgotten about. And maybe send a nice little message to someone who's having a bad day. Like me? Do it. The electrical socket has so many bees inside it, it started to leak honey. As opposed to the normal amount of bees in any given electrical socket. Where else do you think the electricity comes from? Mmm, free soup. You are going to be so, so cursed. Yeah. But free soup. <clears throat> Egg. I can't fucking believe you! This is so fucking unfair! You get 78 fucking notes for posting the word egg on your blog? Well, I'm an artist who works so fucking hard, and I hardly get that! This is sexism, and you're a fucking bitch, and I want to shoot you! Dear Diary, I got a death threat by posting the word egg. And a D&D party made up entirely of orc bards. An orchestra. No! 